Hello, in front of me I have Motorola Moto E22 and I'm gonna show you how to go through the setup process on this phone. First, we can select the language we want to use on our phone and you can do it by tapping right here on this text to open the list of languages. And once you open the list, you can scroll through it by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you like to use on your phone and tap on it to select it. For example, I'm gonna tap on English. Once you select the language, you will probably need to select the uh, region. So for example, uh, United Kingdom. And once you select the language and region, you can tap on the start button to continue. But before that, you can also tap on the emergency call right here at the bottom of the screen to call the emergency numbers if needed. And you can also tap on vision settings to access the settings for features like font size, display size, magnification, select to speak and talk back. Okay, now let's go back and tap on start to continue. Now we can insert a SIM card into our phone if you want to connect to the mobile network. Uh, but I'm just gonna tap on skip, step, uh, skip button right here to skip this step because I don't want to insert a SIM card. And here we can connect to the Wi-Fi network. You can also skip this step by tapping on the setup offline. Uh, button right here. If you don't want to connect to any internet, I'm just gonna connect to one. So I'm gonna tap on the network. Oh, maybe not this one. Uh, maybe this one. And then enter the password. So give me a second or two. Uh, connecting to the internet during the setup allows you to and do a couple of things like um, login into a Google account, uh, check for updates and stuff like that. So I recommend to do it, but you don't need to if you don't want to. Now we need to, or rather we can enable or disable some of the uh, features like uh, sending the diagnostic data to Motorola, enabling the enhanced device support and smart updates. And you can enable or disable them by tapping on the switches. And once you're done, tap on accept and continue. Right here, we can copy apps and data from the Google account. So if you have some uh, backup on your Google account, you can basically tap on next and follow the instructions on the screen to copy the uh, apps and data from the account to your new phone. I don't want to do it. I just want to set up this phone as new. So I'm going to tap on, on copy to skip this step. And right here, we can log in into a Google account. This is useful if you want to use some features like uh, Gmail, uh, Google Play Store and stuff like that. You will need to log in into a Google account. But you can also skip this step right here by tapping on the skip button. So uh, you can log in or not log in. I'm just going to log in. So I'm going to tap on here, enter the account name. And then tap on next. No, I entered it wrong. Give me a second. Once you enter the name and tap next, you will need to enter the password. And once you enter the password, you will tap on next to continue. Then tap on I agree. Right here, we can enable or disable some of the Google services like uh, backup to Google Drive, use location and stuff like that. You can enable or disable them by tapping on the switch. And once you're done, you can tap on the accept button. And here we can select preferred uh, search engine and you have a list of engines you can select from. Tap on the one you like to select it and then tap on next. Right here, we can set up a pin protection on our phone. So basically, if you want to have the phone protected by pin, so no, uh, no other than you can access the phone or people who know your pin, you can do it right here. You can basically enter the pin you want to use and uh, make set it up. You can also tap on a screen lock options to select different type of uh, protection like pattern uh, or password. But I'm just going to tap on skip button right here to skip this step. 
then tap on skip. And right here we can uh, finish the setup process and then set it up later. Or you can tap on continue and continue it and finish it completely now. If you want to skip it for now, you can tap on leave and get reminder. But if you want to continue, tap on continue button. And here we can basically set up a Google Assistant. If you want to set it up, tap on I agree and basically follow the instructions on the screen. You probably need to say a uh, couple things like, hey Google, to uh, basically record your voice so the Google can recognize it. I'm just gonna tap on skip to skip this step. And here we can allow the Google Assistant to work even though our device is locked. So if you have some kind of uh, protection enabled on your phone, like pin pattern or uh, password, and your phone is locked, you can allow the Google Assistant to work on it even though the phone is locked. You, you won't need to unlock it to uh, use the Google Assistant. So if you want to use this option, tap on I agree. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. Right here we can um, add the debit or credit card to the Google Pay wallet. So if you want to use your phone to pay, for stuff you can add the card to use it i'm just gonna tap on skip then tap on next and here we can change a couple of things like add another email account change the font size on our phone change the wallpaper and review additional apps uh, if you want to review additional apps basically it will open the list of apps you can install on your phone right now but i'm just gonna tap on go back and tap finished for now right here Right here we can um, basically enable the notifications for the uh, stuff like updates and stuff like that. You can tap on allow notifications. I'm just going to tap on not now and not now. You can also uh, sign into the newsletter, I believe, right here. So if you want to sign you, sign in, enter the email address right here and tap on sign me up. I'm just going to tap not now and not now. And right here we can select the type of navigation we want to use on our phone. The default one is buttons, so basically you have the buttons at the bottom of the screen and you can use them to navigate the system, but you can also select the gestures. And this will allow you to uh, use the gestures on the screen to navigate the system. Select the one you like and tap on next. And right here we can select the theme of the phone. And we have light or dark theme, select the one you like and then tap on next. Then tap on this done button. And at this point you should see the home screen on your phone. It's gonna take a while to load in like this. And at this point the setup process is complete. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.